Hello, YouTube. I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and tonight we are playing more Identity V. Oh boy. Can you tell that I'm enthusiastic? I'm. I am literally so enthused, in fact. Um. Oh, crap. Man, it seems like everyone has a club, but, like, except me. Man. Man, oh, man. Um, yeah. Oh, um. What the heck? Okay. Um. Okay, we guys say happy birthday to Clerk since apparently it's her birthday. Um, hooray. Um, okay. First, I need to do my dailies. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's the weekend quest today. Um, okay. Now, let's, um... Okay, rank. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, guys, this is the 5 a.m. rank. <laughs> Time to go in English one and beg for someone to invite me to their club. Yippee. Bro, oh, what the heck? Dog, nobody cares if you're trading your account, bruh. Absolutely nobody. Okay, guild members? No. I don't need a guild. I already got one of those. Um... Oh yeah, guys, um, please excuse if you can hear my heater. I had to bring my, um, space heater into my bedroom, which normally it stays in the bathroom, but, uh, oh, add for rank. Um, okay. Rank. <laughs> What the heck? Um, happy character day. Girl did not get that right. Um, yeah, you see, I have my heater in here though, because currently it's like zero degrees outside, and our stupid heater does not like ever kick on for some reason half the time. Like, I don't know why. Like, even whenever it does kick on, though, honestly, the thing is, is that for some reason in my room, it just constantly stays super cold. So half the time, I'm always just cold and stuff. Like... Yeah. But I mean... Yeah, and also, like, I just got out of the bathtub, like, 20 minutes ago. You see... Let me think here. Right now it's 5. I got in the bathtub, it's 3. But you see, I have a good reason for sitting, like, 2 hours in the bathtub. Okay, it's... Damn it, I can't decode this cipher. 
It's because, um, you see, I was reading Full Metal Alchemist, Volume 12. I can't catch a break. Um, yeah, and, like, I was, um, now you see, it didn't take me two hours to read it. Okay, guys, um, I'm not nuts, um, but, um, you see, I don't remember how long it took me. Uh, if you're wondering how I didn't get cold, um, trust me, I did get cold. Very cold, in fact. Um, to the point of where I had to, like, I had to drain, like, some of the bath water and refill it with warm water. Um... <laughs> Yeah, um... Maybe these people are stupid. Here, Aesop, heal me. Man. Come on, Aesop. There you go. Good boy. But, um... Yeah, um, probably not the best bath, though, because I was just sitting there cold for the majority of the time. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know, I mean, honestly, yeah, well, that was not the best choice. Okay, back to the match. Um, Doctor has been downed. Why? I don't know why, but, um... It's... Okay, I got that cipher finished up. Hmm. Seems like, I think. Okay, yeah. Um, this cipher was being decoded, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that. Man, what the f- Man! What the hell did- I'm sorry, literally what the hell did Joseph do that for? That was literally so dumb. Focus on decoding. Yes, I am decoding. Oh, wait, I hope Joseph doesn't come back over here since he knows that I'm probably over here decoding. Can I finish up the cyber cafe? Dog. Eh, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> um, okay, today I don't really have any excuses for myself, though, because I'm not sleep-deprived. Surprisingly not. Well, I mean, I've completely messed up my sleep schedule to the point of where now... Um, eh, I'm not being rescued. I hope not, at least. Um, 
where now most of the time I um, go to sleep in the morning. So, I mean, soon is probably going to be my bedtime, but um, I don't want it to be because really that Luca is so dumb. I mean, I'm not a dumb Luca, though. Totally not. <laughs> Bruh. You gotta be kidding me. Um. Yeah. But I don't want to go to bed. Because I want to do other stuff. <laughs> um. Yeah, like, I think later I'm going to record a YouTube video, which I'm already doing one right now. But, I mean, I'm going to do, like, an unboxing video, though, because I got something in from Amazon. So, yeah. But also, I might go and play Identity V on my other accounts, though, for a little bit, since rank is open. And I always try to do the character day events on all my accounts. Which, I'm not always successful. In that, but most of the time I'm able to do it on like at least three of them, so. But. Then after that, <laughs> I might go have me a soda. Because. Well, eh, I don't know if I want a soda though, because. I think currently a hot chocolate sounds better to me, which I love hot chocolate. Even though I'm lactose intolerant, I love hot chocolate. And, hmm, let me think. Yeah, I'm gonna have me hot chocolate. And then after that, I'm gonna, hmm, am I gonna, Oops. Um, hmm, what am I gonna do after that? Hmm. I think after that. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I don't know. I might go read after that. Hmm. Because. Yeah, I think after that I'll read. Because there's. Uh, let me see, what did I put in my pile of shit to read today? Um, okay, first thing was Full Metal Alchemist, Volume 12, which I already read that in the bathtub. Um, and then there was, um, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, Volume 13. And then there's Dork Diaries, Volume 12, which, yeah, guys, um, so you guys might remember from my Hanukkah special of 2023, aka last year, that, um, basically I got, like, the OMG All About Me diary. Or whatever it's called. And I think in that video, I said that I was at Dork Diaries Volume 5, maybe? I'm, I, I don't remember, guys. But, um, yeah, now I'm on Volume 12. And I remember one thing in particular that I said in that um, video was whenever Nikki was talking about her dog... I was like, OMG, when did Nikki get a dog? But, um, no, it actually turned out that in volume, 
Oh. Was it? I think it was. Yeah, like volume. Um, wait, hold up. Let me think here. I think it was volume 11. Er. Wait, no. Hold on. Um. Hmm. Might have been. Volume 10? Guys, I'm having a real card. Wait, okay, wait. Now I remember. It was volume 10. Because volume 11 is the one where it's that um, exchange program thing. So yeah, in volume 10, though, she's like taking care of some puppies from Brandon's um, adoption center. I don't know, whatever you call those places. Or, yeah, animal shelter. Yeah, and uh, Daisy is one of the dogs from the shelter. Which, that's the name of the dog. It's named Daisy. But, um... Yeah, so that's whenever she gets her dog, though. And I remember, like, right at the end, because it happens at the end of the book, I was like, oh my gosh, Nikki got the dog. Like, she got a dog, OMG. Like, and I was literally thinking back to the YouTube video, and I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, also, too, I remember, like, in the video, whenever the previous owner of that book had written that their favorite bork dork diaries was uh, volume 9. And, I mean, okay, honestly, I can't say it's my favorite, but I... Okay, I'm not picking a favorite yet, guys, because I'm not fully through the series. But it's definitely gonna be one of my contenders, though. Because, like, honestly, like, that was absolutely, like, just shocking. It was like a bombshell. Like, actually finding out about Mackenzie's personal life. Because, I don't know, I think finding out about her personal life kind of made me realize how um, evil Nikki is. Because, like, okay, after, I'd say volume five, honestly, like, I started to notice that Nikki was a little mean-spirited towards Mackenzie. But, I mean, I didn't realize it was that bad, though, because, like, whenever Mackenzie started talking about it, it sounded pretty bad. Because, like, yeah, I know Mackenzie is, like, an absolute B-word. But the thing is, is that, like, honestly, like... Nikki's always doing something back, and I feel like uh, like a lot of times whenever Nikki does something back, it's like worse than what Mackenzie's done, honestly. Like, I don't know, and I mean, Nikki just like, I even kind of noticed this throughout like book 11, whenever they're starting to form like a friendship, okay? Like, the thing is, is that Nikki was kind of unsympathetic even after hearing about some of the stuff about Mackenzie, about how, like, she has no friends at the new school and people are bullying her. You know, like, Nikki didn't feel much sympathy for that, honestly, even though... You know, Nikki's been in that situation where she's been to a new school and she has somebody bullying her and she also has no friends. 
so like, yeah. I don't know if you guys want to say that I'm bullcrapping about that though. I honestly could be because, first off, I'm a little bit biased because I'm. I don't know. I'm not fully a big fan of Nikki, honestly. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like in the real world, Nikki probably would be a cute, cool, popular kid. Like, because the thing is, is that really she's not that much of a dork. Like, the only reason she's a dork is just because she doesn't know how to socialize properly. Which, honestly, is probably because she's a sociopath. <laughs> Which, okay, if you guys think I'm joking about that, I'm being somewhat serious. I I literally think she does have a damn personality disorder. And that's why nobody talks to her, honestly. Because she cannot get her shit under control. Like, I don't know. Like, I heard, like... Oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, I'm... Like, okay, so... I had, like... Um... Yeah, guys, um... Are you guys enjoying my info dumping about Dork Diaries? I hope you are. Even though I'm trying to play Identity V. But... <laughs> okay, so, Ray... My, um, girlfriend, if you guys remember, um, she has also read Dork Diaries, which she's actually read the whole thing, but she's a good girly, so she doesn't give me spoilers. Okay, so, like, she has told me that she thinks that Nikki either has, like, NPD or BPD, which, like, honestly, probably, because, like, um, I don't know, it's just something about that girl is just, like, I don't know, dude. Okay, well, I'm not rescuing Embalmer again, I'm sorry, but I rescued you once. <laughs> I did my due diligence. There you go, and Perfumer can rescue you. But, um, yeah, and I mean, honestly, to me, though, like, I don't know, I find Mackenzie to be more, um, easier to sympathize with, because it is very obvious that her life effing sucks, okay? Because, first off, like... <laughs> You know, her parents just don't care about her. That, Yeah, like, her parents just don't care about her. You know, and, like, also she has no, like, actual friends. Because all her friends are just out for her, like, popularity and, well, probably money, too. Okay, and plus there's, like, Nikki, you know, like... I don't know, I don't want to say ruining her life, but I mean, Nikki is not helping out, though, honestly. I don't know, I mean, I'm really hoping that... I think it's volume 14, where it's titled, like, you know, um, I don't know, like, something about them being best friends. I don't know, I'm hoping that they do actually become friends and they are able to reconcile. Because, I mean, Nikki clearly does have character development. So, I mean, there is character development in these dork diaries. It's just that, like, I don't know, like, I'm hoping that... You know, there is some, because honestly, like, I don't know. Because, yeah. Okay, info dump is formally over, because um, I somewhat lost my train of thought of where I was going. 
Because I was starting to think about Ray. Because I'm going to text her. I don't know why I'm going to text her. But I'm going to say, like, hi. And then she's going to reply back, like, hi. And then I'm going to be like, ooh. Like, ooh. Or I can message Peyton B. Which, uh, now that I think about it, though, they're probably both in bed, like, asleep or something. So I probably won't get a reply back anytime soon. Wait, so then that just means I can message both of them. And then I'll just wait around for their reply. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Also, I think this match is literally going to be a loss. I kid you not. Um, yeah, no, it is. Well, now it's a loss for me, too. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> well, um... Um, was that maybe my fault? Maybe. But I mean, honestly, though, like, yeah, I don't know. Currently, I would, I don't want to say this in like a mean way, but I kind of would rather be doing something else right now, in all honesty. Like, I don't know, like, um, reading. Which is not your guys' fault. Okay. But I mean, I guess I just gotta get my head in the game, though. Eh. I do need to go to bed, honestly. Maybe I am sleep deprived. Because currently, right now, my brain is, um, mush. Um, yes. Oh, yeah, if you guys are wondering why I'm doing another round, it's for the weekend quest here, because I'm going to try to get a victory. And then, of course, I need the four matches. And also, I need the 30 minutes spent on And so, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do a fourth match, though. And hopefully this time I don't lose. Because if I do, then... I don't know. Then we'll have to see what happens. Because I... Um, I don't know, I mean, I don't think it would be worth calling it quits for the video, but I would definitely not be too happy, though, if I don't win this round. But I guess this time I have to actually try. I know, guys, very shocking. I guess let's look at my manor career real quick. Um, geez. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't played in the other faction yet. Um, yeah, guys, don't worry, um, I think it was either the last video or a couple videos ago where I did buy Nightmare, so don't worry, guys, I will be playing Hunter soon, it's just that most of the time I play Survivor, which, I mean, I'm somewhat good at Survivor, but I just mainly do it because I like the part 
where people start being like toxic and mean and stuff. And yeah, that's why I like playing Survivor. Because uh, I like toxicity and identity V. And that's also why I've been playing Survivor for YouTube so far, because it makes for funny videos whenever people start getting mad at me. Yeah. Alright, so now I have to turn on my serious mode and not my um thinking <laughs> about doing other shit mode <laughs> I mean I don't know like honestly I don't know I could also be watching anime though cuz I have been watching one piece and so far I'm liking it but also I've been watching Trigun and I'm on episode 19, so I'm basically halfway through it, I think. So I'm going to be finishing it up soon. Hmm, what else have I been watching? Well, you see, actually, though, I don't watch a lot of anime. Which I've probably told you guys before, but yeah, I'm a manga reader. Which, I mean, for a while, probably the past few years, I just had been, like, watching no anime. But then, oh, what crap. Eh. Okay, now that, I did not see that coming. Um, but yeah, I actually hadn't been watching any anime. Then let me think. One of my friends, or, why am I calling them that? No, the, the guy from the flea market, whose stuff that has been in multiple of my unboxing videos, um... Yeah, you see, he actually recommended me, though, to watch Trigun. And that's why I started watching it. And then, I don't know, after watching Trigun, um, I started wearing Trigun stuff on it. Um, let me think here. I know, like, I have a button with uh, Vash the Stampede on it. And a lot of people seem to notice it. <laughs> so then, of course, people started giving me more anime recommendations because now they think that I watch anime. So apparently I do now. Also, when did Antiquarian get hit? Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. Well, Antiquarian is downed, and she just now screamed, help me. Well, sorry, but I got a job to do. I got the code. Honestly, I mean, one of the reasons why I um, started playing as decoder characters mostly is just because... I'm bad at kiting, and I don't really like rescuing, so, yeah, I don't know. Plus, I mean, oh, there's the exit gate. Um, like, I think on my first account, the character that I picked for the seven day check in was actually Luca. So that's probably another reason why. Well, it seems like this is gonna actually be a victory. I can't believe it. 
Hell, I didn't even have to do anything. Well, except for Dakota. Yeah, I don't know. I'd say this match is probably my most average experience of playing, though. Is where I just don't pay attention to anyone else except for my decoding. Because, uh, honestly, like, I don't know. I, I just really only like the decoding. I don't much care for the other stuff in reality. But I mean, also, I just like Identity V. Which I know, guys, it's very shocking, but I do like it. My gosh, okay, let's... So I'll give it to that person. Um... Yeah, I like... Oh, yeah, wait, oh. Okay, um, there we go. Hmm, let me see here. Available in 11 days. Dang. I wonder what that essence has on it, though. I, I actually don't know. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. Wow. Do I look like I needed that? Do I look like I wanted that? <laughs> I mean... I feel totally normal feelings about Andrew Crisis from Identity V. Um, totally. But, um... Hold on, let me go in the chat real quick and see if anybody's begging for clubs. Person who said if they... Yeah, honestly, I have to agree. If you have one of those A-tier unlock cards, like, just use it. Like, what do you need them fragments for? Like, honestly, just get the A-tier. heck are these people talking about? I don't even want to know. Um, technically forever. <laughs> Do you think Identity V is going to be around forever? Um... Okay, yeah, let's just, let's just call this video quits. Um, yeah, guys, if you like this YouTube video, give us a like, and give us a subscriber, and um, give me give us a comment if um you've read Dork Diaries, because. I'm waiting until Identity V has a Dork Diaries collaboration. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!